Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Techs, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today we're going over the must have products that every home and garage needs. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. And if you're a long time subscriber, always good to have you back. Just a friendly reminder, everyone can enter in the August giveaway. All you need to do is subscribe to the channel and leave a comment on any one of my videos or all of the videos in August. Then you're automatically entered into winning a $150 power tool organization system from Omniwall. The more you comment, the more chances you have to win. Today I'm going to go over the tools that I believe every home and garage need. Now, behind me I've laid out the products I have. Keep in mind I collected these over a period of time. What I'm going to recommend to you right now are all the links in the description below and the products I show you. If I had to redo it all because I didn't have any of these, this is the selection I would go with. So first off, I'm going to talk about the power tools I think every household and garage needs. Starting off with the flashlight. Everyone needs a flashlight. No matter what you're working on, there's not enough space. Some DeWalt kits or Milwaukee kits include flashlights. Um, luckily, one of my DeWalt kits came with a flashlight, but you can rarely get any type of flashlight. But make sure it's fully charged because nothing more pointless than a flashlight without batteries. Next up is an impact driver. I find myself using these all the time. And yes, no man can resist doing this when they pick up an impact driver. So definitely a good solid impact driver to drive in those screws and the wood rarely helps out. Also, if you have different connections on there, you can use it as a socket impact driver. Third on the list for power tools, we're going to talk about the drill. A standard drill will be just fine for most people. And if you're really getting into uh, some construction like stuff, get a hammer drill. It'll save you money in the long run so you don't have to have two drills. Now, I hate shop vacs. I hate storing shop vacs. They're bulky, they're circular, they're annoying. So what I have found is a mini wet dry shop vac. I absolutely love this thing. It uses the standard battery that all your DeWalt tools use um, and it's a wet dry vac. When are you really vacuuming out a lot of stuff? This bin is more than enough and if it gets filled up you can just empty it and start vacuuming again. Now fifth on the list for power tools. As you can see, I have a different brand here. I wouldn't recommend changing brands on your power tools, but I had this brand and that brand at the same time. And as I mentioned, if I could do it again, I would recommend what I'm showing you in the link. So every household needs a leaf blower. Everyone has a garage, it gets dusty, dirty, you can blow the stuff right out of the garage. Also, most houses have patios, walkways, whatever, where the leaves fall in. If you don't do your own landscaping and you have landscapers, they only come once a week or once every other week, so you're still going to have debris falling in your walkway or your patio. Very useful tool. I would definitely get it. Now the power tool kit I'm going to recommend is going to be a 10 piece 20 volt lithium ion DeWalt set. Yes, there's more tools than the five I've mentioned here, but if you're going to outfit yourself with new tools, just go ahead and buy the 10 piece because you never know when you'll use the other five pieces that this kit comes with. So link is below, check it out. So guys, as you can see, there's a theme in my garage is mainly DeWalt tools, but that's up to me. You guys choose whatever brand you're happy with and ideally a brand you currently have some pieces with, stick with that brand. But next up on the list is going to be a socket and wrench set. You never know when you're going to be building some Ikea furniture or furniture in general and you don't want to use those crappy little tools that, that come with the furniture. So I recommend you find a mix set with both metric and SAE sockets and wrenches and it's a bonus if it comes with a screwdriver and Allen kit. I'm going to recommend a DeWalt set that I found on Amazon. Be sure you check it out. It's a 168 piece DeWalt set with over 1200 five star reviews on Amazon. <sighs> now guys, next up on the list, don't make fun of me. This is my wife's kit. Yes, pink is acceptable, but not for manly tools. I do have many tools. I have over, I think $20,000 of tools in the garage. And as much as I love my wife, I would prefer her 
not to touch them because they won't go back where they belong. So she took it upon herself to get her own little set. But really what I'm talking about here is a home repair kit. I'm going to recommend a much bigger kit than this. It's going to be another 168 piece set that has over 800 four and a half star reviews. And the main reason you need the set is for the hammer, the pliers, the Zacto knife, the extra screwdrivers, the level, all those home repair tools that haven't been mentioned in the previous other kits I've talked about. So be sure you get yourself a home repair kit. Fourth on the list is no, not this. It is this tiny little thing, a stud finder. I don't recommend this stud finder and I also don't recommend you lend out your tools. You see, before the pandemic, I lent my brother my stud finder to hang a TV. And yeah, he still has it. But anyways, every house needs a good quality stud finder. The one that I've linked below is the one I lent to my brother and it is perfect. With over 4,000 four and a half star reviews, you should definitely add it to the tools you have in your garage. Now last but not least on the list, every house definitely needs one of these. It is a battery pack to jumpstart your cars. It is extra USBs if you have a power failure and you need to charge your phone. It is also an air compressor. Now, last but certainly not least is this, a battery pack jump starter. Not only is it a jump starter for when your car dies, it is also a tire inflator with a compressor. And at the worst case, if your house loses power and you need to charge your phone, all of them now have a USB little outlet where you can charge your phone. Now, this one is very old. I do recommend the one in the link, again, a DeWalt one, with over 700 reviews of four and a half stars on Amazon. Be sure you pick it up. So if you found this information useful, be sure to check out my website, gastax.com, where I list deals every Thursday that I find on power tools, garage accessories, everything you can think of, and it'll help you save some money when looking to outfit your garage. So head over to gastax.com and sign up with emails and you will get some deals when I find them. So thanks a lot for tuning in. Be sure to hit the thumbs up, the notification bell, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But until next time, I'll see you then.